earn this piece of paper weekly and by every paycheck, you know, and, and, and I believe that this piece of paper can, it, it's not, it is the root of all evil, but it's only if you have the mindset of it, right. of it being evil. You know, if you, if you let it flow through you as an uh-huh. evil possession, then it's going to be the root of all evil because you're going to want to have all your attention solely focused on earning money to buy evil things. Yeah. And today, I, I think it's David who's, who said money's a good thing. I don't know where it's in Psalms at. I, I know it's in there somewhere. I've read it before. Money's a good thing, only if you use it correctly. But to, in today's society, we live we live in such an average mindset. You know, I was just with, ah. I was just with a pastor last night uh, at an Enjoy Church, and he was talking about be obsessed or be average. Amen. And so many of us are so settled and so uh, content in our lives, and we're so average with this piece of paper and how we earn a monthly paycheck, on, a weekly Ryan. paycheck, and, and and we're content with that. But I'm not. I don't want to be content with just a, a weekly paycheck. I want to continue to be obsessed of what. I'm, I'm trying to earn in life, you know, and you don't earn God's love, you receive God's love, and, and we, and, and, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, it's just, be obsessed, or be average, you know, that's just kind of, be like, obsessed with God, like, yeah, be obsessed with God, like, be, don't be content in your life with God, and don't be content with your spiritual walk, continue to yearn after Him, and seek an intricate and intimate love, relationship with him he desires and is passionate about revealing his acceptance and approval to you and so just be obsessed and don't settle for an average lifestyle don't let this control your life but use this to further god's kingdom there it is dollar is not enough that's right that's right that's the mindset that's right we can't keep living with a poverty mindset we have this poverty mindset everywhere we go about how we're just settled and we're we're content with the ordinary life, but really we should all be striving for a prosperous life and a big life and and, and, and stretch our limits and to think big, you know, and, and that's how Christ wants us to think. He doesn't want us to settle and be content and be average mm-hmm. with a spiritual walk with him. He wants us to continue yeah. to seek after him. And and I believe that he calls us in this life to continue to seek after him but 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 to not not have this poverty mindset that we can't earn anything else or we can't we can't get anything else you know god he wants you to have a nice car god i i believe that cheryl's gonna have a nice home five bedroom two bath three bath maybe preach going through a faith step right now where if they keep believing that they're going to have a house, they're going to have a house. Uh-huh. Now, I, I don't have a car. I haven't had a car for like four months now. But I believe from Cheryl's faith, she <laughs> put her faith in mine. Like, she's, the way she uses her faith, it's built my faith, and I'm getting a new car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get it. I don't know if it's going to be given to me. I don't know if I'm going to get ways to get earn money, but I'm not going to have a poverty mindset and live this average lifestyle just waiting for things. I believe that God's waiting for you to get up and start moving and working so God can bless you. So he can bless you in those things. You know, that. Cody and Cody and Jennifer were out in the world for so many years, and 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 they were doing all these bad things. But they finally came to the realization they got up. I'm sorry. Oh, you guys. Are they got up, and God saw that, and He blessed that, and now they're in a position now to where they can lead young people and do these great things, and do a youth-led revival in Missouri, and teach young people on Sunday morning. And, do all these great things, and God bless them with a new Yukon, a brand new Yukon, and they lead this youth group. And, and so God's waiting on you to stop living a poverty in a poverty mindset, an average life, but God's waiting on you to get up and say, move, son, so I can bless you. Stop saying you're waiting on me because I'm waiting on you to get up and start going. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God.